Hey everyone, I'm Jamie, a product marketing director at AirDNA, but more importantly, I'm also a vacation rental host and owner. So I wanted to take you through a few tips and tricks on how to get the most out of our MarketMinder product, whether you're looking to invest in a property or you already have one or more that you're looking to optimize. Today, we're gonna go through the research overview page. A lot of people are probably super familiar with this page. This is where you get your market grade um, and your kind of market average daily rates and occupancy rates you can expect. But I wanted to highlight five features on this page that you might be underutilizing. First, let's start with the map. So all of these little dots represent all of the vacation rentals on Airbnb and VRBO in your market. It can be a bit overwhelming. <laughs> so to help you focus in, other than just zooming in, you can come over here and you can click off shared rooms or private rooms and just look at entire homes, vice versa. You can also decide how many rooms you want to look at. So let's look at two to four bedroom entire property homes here in the Denver area. Another fun thing to note when you start getting really into the neighborhoods and areas, you might notice that some dots are much smaller than other ones. That's because the size of the dot correlates directly to the average daily rate that we're seeing right here. The bigger the dot, the bigger the average daily rate. So this one's 239 on average a night, but the guy right across the street is only $60 a night. You'll also see which platforms they're listed on here. Denver is really heavy on Airbnb, so we're not seeing many VRBOs, but this one is. A few key metrics about this listing, and then you can click on this link and go straight into the listing on Airbnb or Verbo if it's the only one that that's listed on. Uh, next, I wanted to point out this ch uh, rental channel section. Now, you might be wondering why this matters, um, but if you step back and think about it, you know, knowing where people are looking, where guests are looking to book places is going to help you get booked, or you can take the opposite view. And if not a lot of properties are on Verbo, like in Denver, you can list there um, and maybe pick up some extra bookings from people who prefer the Verbo platform. Um, and then as you can see, a good number of people also list on both platforms. Now, in the markets that I've checked out, a lot of people, you know, AirDNA tends to be a little bit heavier, but in like the South Ta uh, Lake Tahoe area, um, it was like 39, 40, 41. So it was a much more even split. So it just kind of gives you a good idea of where your competition is and then how, uh, how you might be able to beat them a little bit by listing in places that they're not. Uh, my next favorite area on this page is top property managers. Now, if you're looking to have your property uh, professionally managed by a vacation rental management company, this is a, and you don't know where to start, this is a great place to start. This will always list the top five vacation rental management companies um, per market based on the number of listings they have. Um, what I really like about it is that you can see their average star rating from guests. So if you're trying to find, you know, a good property manager who's going to take really nice care of your home, um, you know, like Simplify Renting right here has that 4.9, which is a really nice rating. So this could kind of help you start thinking about who you want to work with, um, start narrowing down your, your list a little bit to start reaching out because it can be overwhelming to find someone. And then right underneath that is amenities. Uh, we've all spent hours clicking through listings to see what amenities our competition has, but this is a nice place to pull it all together. Um, so this is great for if you're investing as well and you haven't purchased yet, you can kind of use this to build your must have lists. You know, it's always that question like, do I need a garage? Do I need, you know, hookups for a washer dryer, especially if you're looking at more of a condo or apartment type unit. So this can tell you how many um, the percentage of listings that has that amenity in your market to determine if it's a must have or it's, you know, maybe it's something you can add as a host. Uh, that can help you get a few more bookings because it's a hot commodity that not a lot of other listings offer uh, here, like cable TV. That's a, a pretty simple one to add in a solution for. Um, or if you have space for a hot tub, go for that. And then the last thing I wanted to point out is down here in the rental settings. Once again, I'm sure you all have Excel lists upon Excel lists where you go through and click through every listing and write down, you know, what's their cancellation policy, you know, what do what are their minimums look like as much as you can guess from their calendar? And that takes hours. So this makes it much easier for you to look at, you know, should you set yours to strict? 
should you set yours to flexible? You know, what do people in your area do? Um, I personally own a home in Kale Devil Hills, North Carolina, uh, and this strict bar is much larger uh, just due to the nature of my market. But it gives you an idea, um, again, kind of what your competition is doing and maybe how you can win some bookings if you can be a little bit more moderate or flexible when everyone is strict. And then your minimum night stays. Uh, if you're just not sure what to do, um, you know, should you limit it to one or two night minimums and keep it really, really broad there? Or do you want to limit it to a uh, week only stays? This gives you an idea of what other people in your market are doing again, so you can position as best as you possibly can to get the most listings you can. So those are some of my favorite features on the overview page. There's a lot of little gems in here. Um, people tend to kind of get stuck just looking at this market grade and when they're doing initial investing research. But even when you own a home, there's a lot you can you can do to dig into it, um, especially kind of seeing in one easy shot all of this great information about different people in your neighborhood, which you can really zoom in on that. So I hope this helped and happy listing.